What's up? Average Kurt here. No jokes, no frills today. Just showing you my updated pizza dough recipe for all my pizza people out there. What you'll need, some bread flour or some double zero flour, some dry active yeast, olive oil, of course, granulated sugar, and salt. And this recipe makes two 10 to 11 inch pizzas. First, measure out 180 grams of water. Measure two grams of that dry active yeast. I use platinum yeast. Then measure six grams of sugar, and I just put that in with the yeast because it's all going in at the same time. Then I get my water between 95 to 100 degrees. You can do this by microwaving it, you know, five to 10 seconds at a time. Then I add my sugar and my yeast and mix vigorously until all blended. While that's resting, I get the rest of my ingredients measured out. Now I pretty much only use bread flour because they don't have double zero flour at my grocery store. Uh, if you can find double zero flour, go for it, but bread flour works just fine. Just make sure you don't get bleached, you know, all purpose flour. Any, it has to be unbleached. Here's the yeast sugar water mixture after 10 minutes. You can see the little bubbles and coagulating going on top. That's good. So with just the flour in the bowl, I attach my dough hook, got my mixer on its lowest setting, and I'm gonna slowly incorporate my yeast water sugar mixture. I do about three to four times on the low setting. Once that's all gone, I throw in the olive oil. Then I turn on the mixer to its next highest setting and let it go for two minutes until I get a nice dough ball like this. It should not stick to the hook. It should come off very nice and easily. And now I'm gonna fold in the salt. You'll see I add a little salt and then I do this folding in method where I grab from the outside, pull to the middle, grab from the outside, pull to the middle, then I'll add some more salt, pull from the outside to the middle, outside of the middle. And I think I do this three to four times until all the salt is gone. Once all the salt is incorporated, I'm gonna knead the dough by hand. Got some flour on my work surface, got some flour on top of the dough ball, and I'm just gonna work it for like two to three minutes. There's really no wrong way, I think, to knead dough. There probably is, I don't know. But if you do it for two to three minutes and stretch it out, you'll be fine. Once I've kneaded it enough, I'm gonna use that same method I used when incorporating the salt, and I'm just gonna fold it back in on itself to try to make a nice dough ball so it'll be nice and uniform when I let it rise for an hour. And as you can see, I'm just trying to form a nice uniform ball here. Then I'm gonna lightly grease a bowl with some olive oil, put my dough ball in the bowl, then lightly brush it with some olive oil, then cover it with plastic wrap. And I let it sit at room temp for one hour and it should double in size. Boom, I'd say that ball got bigger, wouldn't you? Now because this only makes two pizzas, it makes dividing it very easy. I just cut it in half. Once cut in half, I'm going to reform them into balls, and you can see my technique. Now, I don't know if everybody can do this because I have giant fingers, um, but yeah, so you can see I kind of pack it through the bottom until I have a nice, you know, whole ball on top, and then I just kind of reform it into a ball, a little light tap on top, and you can see kind of I got my hands angled at the bottom, I'm trying to force like the edges that are sticking out underneath the ball just to make a nice, you know, ball. Yeah, light tap, good. Now it's time to prepare for the second proof. I lightly flour a cake pan that has a nice lid. It's got a thick lip, so it's got room for the dough balls to expand. Wherever you're putting your dough balls, just make sure they have room to expand because they are going to get a lot bigger. You gotta let the dough sit in the fridge for at least two to three days. Bam, here it is three days later. Look how big it got. It looks perfect. Another tip, I leave my dough out for at least three to four hours before attempting to form it into a pizza. But it's time to make pizza. Lightly flour your work service and I also throw down a little cornmeal. And here's how I perfectly form my pizza. I press down just on the edges, make a nice circle so you're developing the crust. It's okay if you flatten an air bubble, they'll come back. Just keep pushing around, push it flat, and move it all to the edges. Then I flip it and do the same thing on its backside. Flip it back over, and now it's time to stretch across your knuckles. Now, gravity does most of the work here. I kind of just like move the pizza around, and the bottom of it will just stretch it out. You really don't have to pull that hard. Just keep moving it across your knuckles, and like I said, gravity will do the work. Just do this until you have your desired pizza size, usually 10 to 11 inches for this dough recipe. Now add your sauce. Make sure your sauce is cold or room temp. If it's warm, it'll make the dough stick to the pizza peel and you're gonna have a bad time. Then add some cheese, you know, whatever toppings you want, and you're ready to make pizza. Now in that glass, I have 50% cornmeal and 50% flour. I put this on my pizza peel. It makes it way easier to slide off into my pizza oven. Then just gonna slide my pizza onto the peel and it's ready to get cooked. Boom, that's a pizza. If you guys got any questions or comments, leave them below.